While the playoffs are on many teams' minds right now, other clubs are already getting an early start to the offseason, particularly free agency. Every NBA offseason, free agency appears to steal the show, and we should expect nothing less from this year's free agency period. Many in the league, however, predict that this year's free agent class will be much weaker than in previous years due to the top players having player options that they will use to stay on their current teams. So who could make a splash in free agency? And what other big players could be on the move? Let's take a look at the top free agents available. At number four, Zach Levine. He'll be an unrestricted free agent, and right now with the Chicago Bulls, he's making $19.5 million in salary. The Bulls are having a fantastic season and are unquestionably title candidates in the Eastern Conference. Their all-star three of DeMar DeRozan, Nikola Vucevic, and Zach Levine have been highly successful in their first season together, but Levine is scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent at the start of the 2021-2022 season after failing to agree with a long-term agreement with Chicago. Levine is eligible for a max contract for up to $201.3 million from Chicago after making the All-Star game in back-to-back -back seasons. If he signed with another team, Zach Levine would only be eligible to make $149.3 million, making this decision appear to be quite simple for Levine and the Bulls. A new contract with the Bulls has always been on Zach Levine's mind, but it has never been prioritized by him or his camp. He knows a new contract is on the horizon, but for now, he's just trying to be the best version of himself so that this team has a legitimate chance of advancing far in the playoffs. Technically, Zach Levine will be available for signing by any club once free agency begins, but many in the league expect the All-Star guard to sign a max extension with the Bulls within the first few hours of free agency. At number 3, Charlotte Hornets' Miles Bridges. He will be a restricted free agent and is making $5.4 million per year in salary. Miles Bridges has come onto the spotlight this year as one of the league's most improved prospects after fighting his way into a six-man role with the Hornets last season. Bridges has set career highs in points at 19.9, rebounds at 7.2, assists at 3.6, steals at 1, and field goals made at 7.4, and has attempted 15.3 per game through 62 games. Miles Bridges has had an outstanding season with the Charlotte Hornets, and after the Hornets declined to offer him a rookie contract extension in the offseason, they will now have to open their wallets if they want to keep Bridges long term. Bridges, who is not expected to receive more than $10 million on a new contract last summer, might receive offers of up to $20 million per year in free agency this year, making him a very intriguing restricted free agent. Charlotte has never been a team that wanted to go over the tax line, which might cast doubt on their intentions to extend Miles Bridges in the long run. The Hornets are expected to keep Miles Bridges and sign him to a new contract, but this might set off a chain reaction that forces the team to part ways with veteran forward Gordon Hayward. At number 2, Cleveland Cavaliers' Colin Sexton. He will be a restricted free agent this summer, and right now he is $6.3 million in salary. Sexton, who is only 23 years old, still has a lot of growing to do in the NBA, but he's already made a lot of money with his play with the Cleveland Cavaliers over the years. Colin Sexton has averaged 20 points, 3.3 assists, and 37.8% from three-point range since being picked 8th overall in 2018. Sexton, who has proven to be a scorer and facilitator, is one of the better guards available this summer, and the Cavaliers may be willing to let him go. This season, Darius Garland became a first-time All-Star without Colin Sexton, and the Cavaliers will be short on cap money after trading for Karis LeVert at the trade deadline. We could be looking at a sign-and-trade situation in the offseason for the Cavaliers, in which they sign Sexton and then trade him so that he can get the contract that he wants at the maximum amount that he can get. Because he's coming off a meniscus injury, Sexton is realistically looking at a three-year or four-year contract, costing roughly $15 million to $18 million in average yearly value on his next deal. There are no long-term worries regarding Sexton's knee, but teams may be hesitant of handing a max contract to a player coming off a season-ending knee injury, which why estimates are slightly lower. Colin Sexton could very well dictate the market for point guards and shooting guards in free agency, with several teams needing to fix their backcourt in the offseason. Colin Sexton's status as a youthful, versatile guard makes him a very appealing free agent, one that the Cavaliers may not be able to afford to keep in the long run. And at number one, DeAndre Aiden. He plays for the Phoenix Suns and will be a restricted free agent with a salary of $12.6 million in 2021 through 2022. We discussed the 12th and 8th picks of the 2018 draft, therefore it's only natural that we discuss DeAndre Aiden, the first overall pick in the 2018 draft class. DeAndre Aiden, 
who is close to signing a rookie extension deal with the Suns ahead of 2021 through 2022, is perhaps the most fascinating restricted free agent on the market this offseason. Aiden has swiftly established himself as a top 10 center in the NBA and was instrumental in the Suns run to the NBA Finals last year. But the Suns were unwilling to give their rookie center the maximum contract that he desired. According to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, DeAndre Aiden was expecting a five-year, $170 million contract from the Phoenix Suns after helping the team reach the NBA Finals for the first time since 1993. But the teams, quote-unquote, didn't think that he was worth that much. Suns owner Robert Sarver was heavily involved in these preseason negotiations, and he's the main reason why DeAndre Aiden has yet to sign a new contract. The Suns would be foolish to let DeAndre Aiden depart in free agency, but many in the NBA believe that general manager James Jones will work out a deal with the Suns owner to offer Aiden a fair deal in free agency. While he has missed time this season, Aiden has proved to be a force at the center position and was in line to make his first All-Star game before being hurt. DeAndre Aiden has averaged 16.5 points, 7.4 rebounds, and 64.2% from the field in 41 games this season. The Suns' major weapons have been Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and Mikhail Bridges, but they would not be a championship contending club without DeAndre Aiden. If Phoenix does not pay the young big man in the offseason, a slew of other teams will line up to sign Aiden to a max contract. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.